created them. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? Let's twerk! Yeah, let's twerk! Alright, so when it comes to getting new video ideas, I usually like to ask my followers on what I should cover, such as a specific character, a certain episode, or even an unusual piece of merch, because I think it's a good way to connect with my followers since I'm honestly not very social, and because I'm, well, honestly I'm just desperate for new ideas. But all jokes aside, I've been getting quite a few comments to review something a bit strange, even for my liking. As for those who haven't been keeping up with the news, there's been something odd happening on YouTube. And no, I'm not talking about the fact that they started playing 15 second ads that you can't skip. I mean, those ads pay my bills, but did they really have to do this? But apart from that, there's been this thing where a bunch of channels have been uploading Bluey cartoons by the truckloads, getting thousands and sometimes even millions of views. And while that might not seem like a big deal, these are not just full episodes or clips from the actual show, but rather, original animations. And while they may seem like innocent fun on the surface, one close look can reveal some questionable content. But as I began to get curious, I found myself in a much deeper rabbit hole than I was ever expecting. As underneath all of the Friday Night Funkin' and... Werewolves? There appears to be some suspicious things occurring under the surface. As the people, or possibly even single person in charge of all of this, have supposedly been caught exhibiting some concerning behavior, and on top of that, there's apparently some sort of scam that's taking people's channels? It's a crazy story, and while I'm honestly a bit hesitant to cover it, I feel like it's something that people should really be aware of and watch out for. So without a further ado, it's time to look into the world of fake YouTube kids bluey cartoons. Oh boy. This is going to be a really rough ride. So before we get into the darker aspects of this, I feel like we should start by seeing what the actual videos are about, since I'm sure all of you are curious. Not that I'm curious, because I'm honestly terrified. But since there were literally hundreds of these videos, I knew right away I just couldn't watch them all. Because I like you all, and I really want to produce good content. But there are just some places I have to draw the line, in order to preserve at least a fraction of my sanity. So starting right off, we have, what if Bluey saw the moon? Bluey Animation. Now I love the title of this one, because it implies that something terrible is gonna happen if Bluey even thinks about looking at the moon. <laughs> even though she's looked at the moon before, Heck, there was even an entire episode about it. But in this video, Bluey does in fact, look at the moon. Which for some reason, causes her to go beast mode and turn into a monstrous werewolf? You know, just a normal routine. It happens in like, every episode. And that's it. It's just barely over a minute long. 
as most of these animations are incredibly short, probably so they can just pump out more at a time. But if Werewolf Bluey interests you that much, for whatever reason, I am happy to inform you that Werewolf Bluey is essentially its own genre, with such classics as Werewolf Family x Bluey, Bluey Animation, Sad Story, Daily Life of Bluey, where Bluey is normal again. Hooray! But then she gets bit by Werewolf Bandit, and the whole thing starts all over again, with Bluey brutally attacking everyone in her sight. But in the next episode, Bluey suddenly dies? And being heartbroken, Bandit decides to calmly and peacefully attack her in brutal fashion. However, Bluey wakes up, and the two engage in another glorious and surprisingly violent battle, where Bluey finishes her savage father once and for all, as Bingo can only watch in horror. And I know y'all want me to make fun of these episodes, but I'm just gonna be honest and say that that last part was actually kinda epic, as it's not really a traditional YouTube kids cartoon like the others, as it definitely has some effort in the animation. I know, crazy, right? And the videos do actually have a 13 plus warning, but on the other hand, I can't really imagine an actual teenager sitting down and watching these, and the super long titles kind of tell me otherwise. But one episode I'm pretty sure is definitely intended for kids is the beloved Bluey was hit by his father. Bluey Animation What a brutally honest title. Also, apparently, Bluey was hit so hard, I guess she's a boy now. I'm a girl! However, unlike the last video, the animation here feels a lot more stiff. And it's just saturated with the loud sounds and happy stock music you get in most typical YouTube kids stuff. But story-wise, Bluey and... Bingo? get into a fight where Bluey proceeds to beat up Bingo. <laughs> Although, for some reason, they really like using Brandy in place of Bingo for some reason. So it just looks like Bluey beat up her aunt over a toy. But Bandit, being the calm, understanding father he is, charges in with a giant stick and whacks Bluey on the head. <laughs> and Chili being absolutely horrified, decides to take drastic action by... calmly talking to everyone? And then the episode just ends, as if nothing serious just happened. However, if Bluey suffering permanent brain damage isn't your thing, we also have Bluey helps pregnant woman cross the street safely. Because I guess it's not YouTube kids unless someone is pregnant. Also, I should point out that this video only has a little over 100 views, and it's actually a re-upload because the original video was actually deleted by the creator. We'll get to that later. But yeah, I think the plot is that Judo's mom gets pregnant for some reason, and then Bluey and Rusty help her and call 911 so she can get the care she needs. And that's the episode too. Well, all I can say is that at least this one has a good message about helping others, so I guess it's fine? Also, I'm kinda disappointed Muffin wasn't actually in this because she's on the thumbnail and to be honest, this is kind of in character for her, not gonna lie. But speaking of generic good messages, we also have Bingo, Wear your helmet to ride a bike safely. And Bluey, wear your helmet to go skateboarding safely. Part 2. And also, wear your helmet to ride a bike safely. Not to be confused with the first one. Also, I'm just in the middle of editing this video and I just realized that the title actually says Safe T, not Safely. Huh. But in this episode, 
Bluey and Bingo are watching an epic stuntman doing radical bike tricks. So they decide to do the same. But oh no! Bingo won't wear her helmet. So Chili tells her that if she doesn't, she'll crash so hard she'll basically end up in the Peppa Pig world? So Bingo wears her helmet and... Yeah, that's the episode. And I could just go on and on and on, but it's mostly just stuff like that over and over again, but with different characters or scenarios. Like, oh no! Bluey gets left behind. Or, oh dear, this character gets hurt. And other dramatic stuff to make kids click on the videos. However... There are also some darker elements to some of these videos, both the ones that are claiming not to be for kids, as well as the ones that straight up are. One example is Bluey, I Can't Even Dream. Very sad story. Bluey anime, where Bluey lives a rough life, constantly getting hurt and abused. Just, wow, that's actually kind of dark. But despite her difficult life, she finds some comfort in a violin her mom has. At least I think it's a violin. I don't know, I haven't taken music classes in like 8 years, so I apologize. But then, Bandit comes in DRUNK? And then proceeds to break Bluey's violin for some reason, and then immediately leaves. And that's it. We end with Bluey losing her only source of joy. And she is doomed to be abused by her drunken father. Isn't that just wonderful? But seriously, that's actually pretty sad. As an alternate universe where Bluey's family doesn't get along, isn't something most of us want to see. But it is something that sadly, does happen a lot in real life. But speaking of alternate universes, there's also this thing where people like to combine Bluey with other big franchises to get even more views. With some examples being Minecraft, Poppy Playtime, and of course, Friday Night Funkin'. And look, there's even a crossover with Werewolf Bluey. Except the two don't actually fight in this video. It's clickbait. And you know what else is clickbait? Funny stories about Bluey pretends to be sick. Except it's actually not clickbait because they actually cut off her tail. And Chili seems oddly excited about it. Like, shouldn't she be at least a little bit concerned? And of course, how could we forget the absolute beloved classic, Bingo Learns to... Twerk. And I really wish this one was fake, but no. It's literally just Bluey and Bingo shaking their stuff, which the creator made extra large for some reason. Just, why? Why does this exist? Who asked for this? And I'm not going to show any footage of this because, well, once you see what I saw, there's no going back. However, I believe that this video may have been actually taken down, so hopefully, Innocent kids won't be traumatized by it, or frankly, anyone. But with that said, this isn't the only concerning thing some of these channels have reportedly done. As upon announcing this video to my followers, I couldn't help but notice comments mentioning some sort of scam that had been occurring. And upon looking further into this, I was able to talk with users Truly Radley and VOGRL who both own YouTube channels and have claimed to speak with some of these Bluey animation channels. But regarding the scam, it appears that these channels have been actually contacting multiple users to share their videos in exchange for a payment. Which according to VRG, is how they get a hold of so many channels to post content on. And upon being contacted by Truly Radley, one apparently stated that they wanted to harm the voice actor behind Bluey. And that one channel even asked another user for feet pics in exchange for a shout out. Now of course, I can't confirm 100% if these actually came from these channels. So don't take everything I say as true fact just yet. 
but there's no real reason yet to assume that they aren't. And with stuff like, Bingo learns to twerk, it really makes you wonder if some of these channels may have some less wholesome intentions behind the screen. But with that said, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, BNB Productions will be signing out. So, I was originally going to end the video here, but I'm actually coming in to interrupt because regarding what we just heard, there's actually been a major update that kind of changes this whole story. So, as of writing this, it appears that this user, Animation 6.0, has actually contacted Truly Radley again. And interestingly, they've actually come out and said that all of the weird stuff they were doing was just meant to be a joke. And if you check the Animation 6.0 YouTube channel, you'll see that all of the videos have actually been removed. Also, regarding the whole Bingo Brandy situation, they actually explained that this was intentional and not a mistake like I believed, as it was some sort of way to get around any potential copyright issues. Although they still use the other characters anyways, so I'm not really sure how effective that would be. However, after they responded to Truly Radley, they also made contact with, well, me, which was really surprising. And with this direct contact, I was able to discuss some stuff with Animation 6.0. And while I won't read the entire conversation, I was able to ask them a few questions about the situation. Wait, so are you Animation 4.0 or 6.0 or both? Both. So overall, I know you deleted most of your videos on your YouTube channel. I was wondering if this was done because of Truly Radley, or was it because of the backlash from other people? I don't take orders from anyone. Did it to make Truly Radley happy and so I can be loved. What made you willing to make Truly Radley happy, but ignore the others? He was on my butt. If I didn't make peace, more unhappiness. So since you still have your channel still around, are you going to be making more animations? Yes, I only do it because I am depressed. Have nothing to do. Lonely. No friends. So regarding my thoughts on the whole situation, it's complicated. But overall, as long as this person hasn't harmed anyone and didn't have any ill intentions outside of making some really poor jokes, and even as a joke, asking random people for stuff like feet pics is still questionable in my opinion, and still makes others uncomfortable whether it's a joke or not then I really hope that they can learn from their mistakes, and with a new start, continue pursuing their passion in animation, since it clearly means a lot to them, which I can understand. Also, I should mention that Animation 6.0 did not create that awful bingo video, according to Truly Radley, who if you couldn't tell is kind of a big source for a lot of my info, so shout out to him for keeping watch. But whether the community will forgive him is something only time will tell. I know lots of people on both sides, which I completely understand. And despite everything I've said, I don't actually mind if people try to produce darker parodies of Bluey and stuff like that. And it's not really my job to decide what should stay or not, because that's basically what the BBC does. I mean, if you check some of these channels right now, some of them barely have any videos, and most of them appear to have been blocked if they weren't already taken down. But as long as they really, and I mean really emphasize that something isn't for kids, then I'm sure most of us could agree that these videos would be fine. But I think it's the fact that these videos are so easy to mistake for actual kids content is what made most people concerned. Not to mention all of the violence and adult stuff we've been seeing throughout these videos. However, even if a video did take at least some effort to make, I'm not gonna act as if I understand why one short is about Wendy getting pregnant, or why that bingo video had to exist at all. But with that said, 
if you have young children, please check on what they're watching. There's a lot of innocent, mindless fluff out there, but there may also be some darker stuff hidden behind it all. And for anyone who was affected by these videos or by the actions of some of these creators, I just want to give my best condolences because I know this can be a very confusing and uncomfortable situation for some people. But of course, it's also important to tell the difference between the generic YouTube kids filler and actual genuine fan projects, which usually put quality and creativity over clicks and profits. And personally, I prefer the latter, as they can be loads of fun. My favorites are from Sataru and Tango Space, as they just make some phenomenal stuff, alongside many other great creators right here on YouTube. And lastly, I just want to apologize for making this video way, way too long. This was originally going to be just me reviewing some random Bluey cartoons, but then the controversy began, allegations against the channel started going, and then one of the users explained themselves, and then even started talking to me. And I know that even today, it's still kind of a controversial issue. So I was really trying my best to present this in the most fair light I possibly could based on what I know. But if there's anything I missed, or you just want to give your thoughts, please feel free to comment them below. And until next time, BMB Productions will be signing out. I just want to thank you all for coming with me on this absolutely insane ride. And with that said, have a great day everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.